In today's testimony, Officer Chris Taylor's attorneys tried to give jurors an idea of what was going through his head in that encounter with Mike Ramos and also who he was trying to protect. With an Austin police investigator on the stand, Taylor's attorney read to him from his client's statement following the incident. I observed Ramos's vehicle begin to move forward. I perceive this action as a threat of death or serious bodily injury to myself and several officers in the path of the vehicle. That tells you what Chris's perceptions were at a critical moment in this event. Correct. But prosecutors were quick to question that assessment, noting another passage in Taylor's statement regarding an alleged near miss by Ramos as he tried to leave the scene. Please read aloud the jury this sentence, starting with identity. <coughs> identity observed as the vehicle continued right, missing the front of Officer Cantu Atlas's patrol vehicle by inches and rolled north down the parking lot, only coming to a stop. A witness at the apartment complex had captured the action from another angle. Did the Prius in State's Exhibit 84 at 41 seconds into the video, that Prius missed Daryl Cantu Harkless's car by inches? No. I mean, that would not be how you would characterize it, is that correct? Correct. The day's testimony ended with a review of how APD officers are trained to slow down when executing a high-risk traffic stop. Time is on our side. There's no rush to get, get someone in custody, barring some other type of situation, right? But a, a basic high-risk traffic stop. We have all the time in the world to do it, so there's no reason to rush anything. Testimony of the trial will resume Tuesday morning at 9. Fred Cantu, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.